Hey guys, so today I'm going over the supplies sent to me in my January Art Snacks. Just a reminder that Art Snacks was a, that year's subscription to Art Snacks was a gift from my mother, Denise Hilburn. Uh, so I'm starting with the Zig Wink of Luna brush. And um, right here are my Wink of Stella brushes. This is an open and used or in use silver glitter. This is a not yet used silver glitter. As you can see, the unused markers have this black ring around them. That's to keep them from leaking all over the place in transit. So, I this is my s silver glitter. I don't know why I am uncapping and getting that one started because it's not even ready. This is my green. As you can see, the cap of your Wink of Luna comes off and you twist off the cap and you remove the ring and then you should be able to punch them together like so. And you squeeze it to get it started and it might bubble a little bit. See as it fills the, the chamber. Ah, there it goes. Oh, there's the bubbling. All right, so let's try scrubbing it. Oh, come on. There we go. That's nice, opaque, black, uh, not black, I'm sorry, metallic. Can't even think today. Oh, so I'm gonna use the Sharpie Le Pen Permanent, which is a permanent alcohol marker, to put down an opaque black line. And we're gonna go over that with the Wink of Stella see how opaque it is and as you can see it is really opaque you can't see you can't really see the black underneath it so that's pretty cool let's see if this is water water based and I'm using the um, the Sakura Koi water brush sent to me through my sketch box so it was not included in art snacks but yes you definitely can blend out the wink of Luna to something a little more transparent works kind of like a watercolor uh it seems like even if it's dry it works that way so that's really cool that's a cool way to um kind of have like a metallic sheen or glittery sheen to something you're doing with watercolor so a plus i really like that that's cool uh also they included a marvy le pen So we're going to go over it with um, water first, clean that off a little bit better, already waterproof. Now let's go for a alcohol marker. This is a Prismacolor blender and as you can see it's already reacting. So please don't use your Marvy Le Pen with your alcohol markers because you will be sad um, and lastly, no, wait, I have the crank and I have this. So this is a polymatic, um, orange mechanical pencil size 0.7. It's already got some B lead in it, which is one of my favorite sketching leads. It's a lot thicker than your average mechanical pencils. Which is, um, fine if you have arthritis and gripping a tiny pencil like this hurts your hand. This is a, a good alternative to that. The grip is not soft, but it is um, segmented to better hold your hand. And the uh, eraser twists up pretty simply. It's got a metal clip, uh, back in advancement, but um, a plastic sheath, not a metal sheath for your lead. See this Pentel has a metal sheath that's the plastic sheath. So I'm probably going to put this one in my pencil case and see what I think of it. Maybe do a full review on my blog, netosoup.blogspot.com, a little bit later on. But it seems like a pretty decent standard mechanical pencil, good for sketching. Last we have the Crank, which is a liquid Just acrylic. Closer. Um, oh, that's cool. So it's got a dauber on it. I was kind of worried that the only way I'd be able to use this is to purchase a blank uh, crank pen or Montana pen, but fortunately that is not the case. So let's see. How do I get this started? Because I've never... Aha! Okay, awesome. So it's already going. 
and you can just apply dots like that or you can paint like that so that's cool the color is not my favorite but that's not their fault and um with acrylics as long as they're wet you can use some water with them to like uh, make them a little bit more transparent or to blend them out a bit although it seems to want to ruin my koi pen which is not the end of the world or maybe it is because I still need to do my field test with the well I will get that clean but that's a basic <laughs> overview of everything that came in my sketch box um, for more content like this please like and subscribe to my channel um, if you enjoyed this please consider backing my patreon because one of the unlockable goals is sketchbox and art snacks reviews and I've already got a year subscription so I'm gonna be enjoying it whether or not you guys enjoy it is up to you um, I'll get back to you guys with the field test for these products. Have a good day, guys. Bye.